Good morning, all of my beautiful friends. Today is the first day of October and I'm so excited. Uh, we're finally gonna be able to finish these. All we're doing is tracing them. And after we trace, we will erase all of our pencil lines underneath. And after that, we'll be able to actually color these. So first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna open up my paper, stretch it out a little bit so it's nice and flat. Make sure you have everything that you wanted on your drawing to be there already. I think I did the words, I did do the words with you guys last class. And I also went ahead and added just like a random drawing of a crayon because since I'm an art teacher and I love to color, I just drew a crayon to represent something that I like. So make sure you have everything there drawn out before we do Sharpie. And you could either use um, a thick point sharpie or some of you maybe have some smaller details and you want to use the finer point sharpies but I don't really think I'm gonna need that I'm just gonna use my sharpie and I'm very calmly gonna just trace all of my lines that I've made Make sure you take your time. There's no rush. You wanna make sure you get all of your lines perfectly straight. Cause if you rush, sometimes you'll make those like jaggedy lines. So you really wanna go slow. And today's gonna be really chill because this is all we're doing and then next week we'll be able to start with some of our fall and October projects because I know this one surprisingly was taking us like three or four classes and I was not expecting that And make sure your words are also nice and big so they can be read very well if I were to see it on camera. You don't want your words to be like super itty bitty. And the Sharpie is dying. My Sharpies die so fast in class because we use them so much. For any of you who have actually been in my class last year, we use Sharpies all of the time. It's just a really great way to learn how to trace straight and calmly. And it also just makes your picture look really nice because it kind of pops out more when you start to trace it. And this Sharpie's dying too. Yeah. I'm gonna have to grab another Sharpie. I'm gonna be right back, just keep tracing, try to get all of those done.
Oh, that's so much better. Ooh, that is so much darker. Love it. And yeah, don't be scared to add some designs to, to the middle part of your drawing. Because you want as much of that space to be covered. Because if you have a lot of white spaces, it kind of looks awkward. And the reason to sometimes that I do like being able to keep you guys muted is so you guys can really focus on these drawings. Because I know it's really easy to get distracted Especially when you tend to talk because I know even me I'm a big talker and then I get very thrown off but after we're done tracing in a couple minutes and we're just coloring we can all chit chat because I don't mind talking when we're just coloring but tracing could be kind of hard if you get too distracted and then you can mess up your lines and I don't want you to do that. Ooh, I'm gonna see how that looks closed. Okay, I think I got those lines right. Oh, and the Sharpie's already making this look so nice. For those who are kind of like, what else can I really draw inside of it? When I did my other one, if I can find it. Oh, just dropped a bunch of my pieces. So for this one, when I was trying to think of designs, like there I just did a bunch of kind of like star asterisk marks. And then in here, I couldn't really think of a lot of like things that I wanted to draw, so I did a lot of spirals and hearts. Uh, when I did sweet, because I tend to be very sweet, I did little drawings of candy there. So just think about random stuff that you really like. Maybe you just really like to draw hearts and you're like, I'm just gonna do a bunch of hearts because that's how I am. You can just do a bunch of little hearts everywhere. Maybe you're just a fan of polka dots and you like just doing polka dots everywhere. These are your self-portraits, so really think of stuff that really describes you. Maybe you just love to draw and you're an artist and you love doing all this kind of stuff. You might want to draw a pencil or an eraser or even a crayon like I did. So there's a lot of ideas you can do with that. And I'm almost done. Now I'm going to move up to my face. My bow is looking a little like a hot mess, so I'm going to try to fix that. Oh, that looks a little better.
if it helps you to turn your paper as you draw and color and trace, that usually helps me too. Got about five minutes. So we're already at five minutes till the end of class. So really try to take your time As soon as I'm done tracing, I'll switch my camera over and see how you guys are doing. If you're done tracing, go ahead and use your eraser to start erasing your pencil lines from underneath, and then you can start coloring already. But I really hope you guys aren't rushing it though, because I know I go slow, but I really like taking my time. So those lines come out really nicely. I think someone had asked me to do dimples last week and I kept them. I don't really have dimples, but they look cute, so I'm just gonna keep them. And they're in Sharpie anyway, so I can't erase it. Sharpieing. Oh, I'm gonna sharpie my name too so I don't forget and accidentally erase that. And I'm gonna go ahead and start erasing. And I definitely am not gonna have time to color this with you guys because we only have one minute left. That went by so fast. <sighs> but she looks great. I'm happy with the way mine turned out. 